Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the DCM part number DC-09-2904-03. This is a DC-1 replacement control only for their V3 slider. Okay, there is, um, so this is the replacement control only, and this video is to just give you a visual review of the replacement controller. Door controls uh, is a a very um, door controls is a company that uh, deals with lots of different markets. They are in the business of maintaining a uh, installed operations within their geographical area, which is a very large footprint. They are involved in the wholesale of automatic door parts. They are involved in the manufacturing of their own system as well, systems as well. Not only the uh, controls, motor gearboxes, but also the door panels. They have an entire shop where they can fabricate panels. And I have used their, I've not personally used their sliding uh, kit, but I have done their swinging kit, uh, both the 4000 and the 7000 series, and I have found complete customer satisfaction in them. Um, and that's because they're robust, they're very well manufactured and engineered. I have been to their facility, I've done my Adam training at Door Controls, and I have seen how they um, engineer, how they test, how they package, how they uh, instruct, uh, the entire uh, uh, process, so to speak. All of that experience allows me to be intimately familiar with their process and how they go about operating. Uh, instruction manuals are included with the unit itself. Um, part of the training that is done at door controls actually involves getting your hands on the equipment and making modifications to the cycling of the door and all of its different uh, you know, types of control that you can have or the speed at which they open and which they close and then the delay of everything adjusting the sensors. Let's uh, take a look at those installation instructions uh, on the screen. So here's the page that we're looking at and those installation instructions are linked here and this is the document that you'll get along with your control. Uh, obviously gives you the layout of all of the items that you're looking at, identifies everything for you. You know, your P, your zero, your N, you know, your menu up, uh, menu down, program button, a lot's going to be happening here. Um, not other than your, your connectors, like your J4 connector for your sensor, your power connector, it's mostly going to be done with your programming and on the E, which, your, which is your display screen, okay, your um, other connectors are also indicated, whether you have you know, a lock that's going to be uh, there uh, communicating to some sort of uh, electrified lock is what I mean to say uh, would be there. M is your test button, okay? So very handy, well written, well laid out installation instructions. And that's really the hallmark when you're dealing with the door controls material. They're, they're in-house brands because the installation instructions are, in my opinion, relatively simple and straightforward. Uh, and we'll talk more about that in a moment. Um, the definitions of what you're going to encounter in your menu, okay, so that you can, through the display, understand what it is that you're programming, okay? Understand your opening speed, your closing speed, etc. And these definitions simply continue on. What's your hold open time, okay? Troubleshooting tips. The following inputs have status LEDs to help identify the problems. Continue on with troubleshooting. Wiring diagram, so to speak, if you're connecting uh, position switch wiring, depending on what you're connecting. And that wraps that up. Okay. Let's finish up this video on the screen uh, and talk just a moment about uh, Door Control's technical support and the other products that they offer. So one easy way to be able to familiarize yourself with the other items that they are um, making in terms of systems 
You've got your DC-1 sliding door retrofit. You've got your DC-4000 and your DC-7000. Now, I've sold both of the 4000 and 7000. Again, complete customer satisfaction. So when you click on each of these, they've got a little video of them going over the installation instructions. Absolutely. It's just here. And the installation instructions will be written in the same format as their slider. Simple and straightforward. Uh, they give you instances of wiring diagrams in the back so you know, you know what you're wiring and to where you're wiring it. An electric strike would be very common. Okay. If you're going to install a wall switch, okay, how are you going to power that? Well, it's, it's here in the manual. Along with their, uh, their 7000, so they have heavy duty and low energy. The only difference between these two is that heavy duty will have sensors involved. Low energy does not have sensors. Uh, it would have wall plates. Low energy would be very typically used. And the point is, as soon as you get sensors involved, it's no longer low energy. It becomes heavy duty or high energy. Um, low energy, you're obviously going to be using on those openings that do not require sensors. An, active, um, an application for that, of course, would be a exterior door on a public building that would require occasional access or a bathroom in a restaurant would require um, wall plate sort of application for handicap compliance. Um, there's a restaurant in, in town that we frequent that has an operator on it and it's push uh, regular manual closer but if it's needing to be used by the handicap the wall plates are there on both sides of the opening. The DC1 sliding retrofit door kit is um, and this of course we're dealing with the controller the point of this is they will get into being able to take your old system whatever it is and sell you the new parts to convert it to a dc1 and as a re and what happens on not only the slider but the swingers is that there is an order form that needs to be filled out so they understand how to package the parts the way that they explain it is that they have all of the individual pieces, the belts, the pulleys, the hangers, the rollers, whatever it is, for each of the different types of applications, but they have to know what is being done in order to fulfill the order correctly. And that also goes for their, their swinging material as well. There's an order form, and the order form, it's a bit cantankerous, but the bottom line is it doesn't let you forget anything. Okay, What do you need? What is the hand? Okay. Do you need any of this, you know, wireless or wired activation plates at all? Do you need any harnesses, any wiring harnesses? And the nice thing about their wiring harnesses is that they already have the connectors and you don't have to make your own. So if you know that you're doing wireless switches, you're going to need to be able to plug in the radio receiver to it, the, 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 the wireless receiver. If you know that you're doing a magnetic lock or an electric strike, it's right here. That's the connector for or the wire wiring harness with the connectors for that. Okay, let's finish up this video on the screen on, on the on the camera, I should say. Now, the reason I think you should take a long, good, hard look at door controls is the products are good. I've been to their facility. I see how they rigorously test the material. They have literally a room that is easily 2,000 square feet or 5,000, I don't know. It's, it's huge. And they have all of these, this structure with frames attached and doors and just cycling, 24-7 cycling. They literally take weights that you would see in the health club and they hang them on the doors to emulate. Okay. Um, the gentleman who is in charge of, inst of instruction at door controls is a complete expert when it comes to the subject matter. What you will appreciate the most is not only, I believe, the simple and straightforward installation instructions, but the quality of the testing and engineering behind the line. But if you get into a corner, they encourage you, pick that phone up and call them. There are people there who know nothing in life, they do, of course, but are, they know nothing in life but automatic doors, and they are exceptional at it. There is, there has not been a technical question put to, the, to that department that they have not been able to um, satisfactorily resolve. 
is the bottom line. And it's because these people, the, the folks over there, they install it. They teach it. They troubleshoot it. They pack it. They ship it. They've helped engineer and design it. Probably helped write the installation instructions as well. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the door controls products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. And another reason why you might consider door controls, overall length is about 23 and a half, by the way. Overall height of the controller, about two and a quarter. Another reason you might consider door controls is that um, the, to, to state it plainly, there's a lot, there is a, there is a measurable amount, a measurable amount of a lack of customer satisfaction when dealing with certain large automatic door uh, manufacturers, uh, integrators, installers. This, the DC 4000, DC 7000, the DC 1 allows you to um, take matters in your own hands with a very quality product. Now, keep in mind, there is more to it than just this. There is very clear established standards within the industry when it comes to the correct installation of automatic doors. The um, code documents that govern these are very clear and simple and straightforward. I would not encourage you at all to do this sort of work if you do not possess the um, skill set experience, let's say, to, um, to properly uh, handle uh, install uh, automatic door work. There are ANSI standards uh, that go along with this, the A156.10.19.27.41. Those documents govern automatic doors, revolving doors, low energy, high energy. And while it's not mandatory by code that automatic doors uh, are installed by people who carry an AAADM, of which there are at least there are three of us here in the company now that are Adam certified. If there, it's not written in code that you must be Adam certified to install the material, it is code that they're inspected annually, uh, all automatic doors, and that records and log uh, record keeping and logs be kept of all of that. Uh, the building owner is responsible for maintaining that. Um, there are a lot of there's a lot of liability when it comes to automatic doors. Um, so you want to dive into doing that work when you are fully immersed into it. I have very, very large national, global hotel chains that do their own work on keeping their doors up and running. And about every two years, we send them a good a fistful of, of parts and controllers. Um, and then there's people who own a convenience store, a convenience uh, shop. Um, and I... You know, I question if that's really, really smart when it might be smart to just have someone on call that will be able to handle the work. So you'll want to dive into it when it makes sense for you, your company, and your short and long-term goals. But I can tell you this, the DC-1 is a product that I have sold um, and that the there is, as I've said, there's, there's no customer dissatisfaction that I'm aware of on the product line at all. People usually mechanically slap it up, plug it in, and oh my gosh, it works. Okay, that's anticlimactic, and that's usually how that goes. Any questions on the DC-1 controller or any other door controls product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.